Nico Kelly? He's busy. So who's asking? Gracious greetings, soap fans. Long before Maurice Bernard starred as Sonny Corinthos from General Hospital, he was known by millions of All My Children fans as Nico Kelly. Is that the right? Is that his last name, Nico Kelly? <laughs> I don't even know. Now, I have the honor of presenting to you a talent so great, there is no need for introduction. Let's hear it for him. Yeah! Do you have enough love in your life that you can afford to let the best part of it walk away? You're a pain, you know that? Join me for another All My Children flashback as we look back at one of the 80's biggest super couples in Nico and Cecil. Were they married for love or did they marry for money? That was the big question in 1989 on All My Children. Mr. Cortland has no idea how much I'm looking forward to meeting him. I've had plenty of girls, but you've never taken this kind of trouble before. Julie's not one of my girls. Not yet, anyway. Maurice Bernard debuted as Nico Kelly on All My Children in March 1987 as the nephew of Creed Kelly. Lynette's in a snit. I don't give a damn about Lynette. Nico, I said the number is not the write-up. Sorry. Nico was raised in a dark world of scam deals, drugs, and prostitution. He only ever had his uncle Creed Kelly to rely on. What's that? Who is this Julie chicken? What is she to you? Well, that's two things, but uh, I'll answer one of them. It's not who Julie is that matters to her mother is. <laughs> Julie Chandler was Palmer Cortland's niece, and Creed was planning on using her to get back and get revenge against his former lover, Elizabeth Carlyle. Are you detectives? Uh, Has there been any word about Julie? My, my, for heaven's sakes, no, no need to come bursting out every time the doorbell rings. No, these gentlemen are not detectives, and I'm sorry, uh, there hasn't been any word about Julie. Look, Nico, you got a lot to learn about women. Intimidation is how you keep them in line. Creed seduced Julie, who had run away to New York City. One night, he planned to rape Julie in front of Elizabeth. Nico could not stand by as Creed executed this plan. How did you get in here? No! No! I'll scream! Don't come any closer! I'll scream so the whole place comes down! I mean it! Nico escaped with Julie and led her back to Pine Valley. Eventually, these two fell in love and eloped together. I'll be so absolutely safe for the rest of my life. It's going to take me that long to show you how much I love you. Nico, I promise I'll be a good wife. And I promise you tonight never let you down. It's really In the beginning, both were content with their young married life. But well, first, we gotta start by acing this. No, no, what are you doing? Now give me that book right now. What is that anyway? Where's the time? My constitutional law book. They would later learn that their marriage was not valid. And after Julie suffered a miscarriage, their marriage began to crumble. During this time, Nico had hired Julie's friend, Cecily, to work at his nightclub, and they became friendly. The elevator's broken. Let the building engineer take care of it. No, the elevator company says it's going to take two weeks to get the part. Well, my, my club's going to go down the drain. Well, somebody ought to make that clear to them. Somebody ought to light a fire. I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. Um, so... 
Nico, the hostess of the newest and hottest spot in town, has to have a great wardrobe, and I happen to be flat broke. And what is wrong with what you're wearing? This, this rag, this, I wouldn't be caught dead. Okay. Where's my dress? Uh, where's your credit card? What? Well, I won't see your credit card. <sighs> my credit... Why? Is there, is there a problem? Uh, no, not for very long. Uh, but I think you're, uh, you're charging... Charging days are over, darling. Uh, do you want to put that card out of its misery, or do you want me to do it for you? Huh? Cecily, a trust fund child, was now broke because her mother had cut her off. Beautiful dresses you never even worn. You know, I'll never be able to go out again. I'll have to quit my job. Learn how to sew. And use what for material? Old curtains? It worked for Scarlett O'Hara. Cecily wasn't the only one with problems, though. While her marriage was on the rocks, Julie decided to chop off all her hair. You hate it. No, I like it. I just... Why don't you tell me when you go and get your hair cut? Well, I think it looks great. I do. It's really nice to know that some people can still afford to be stylish. Thanks. Now, if you don't like it, I mean, hair does grow. No, I, I like it. I just think you should warn me before you go out and get a mohawk. <laughs> Cecily was determined to make it on her own. And while looking for more ways to make money, she became closer with Nika. Looking over your books? A little embezzlement, maybe. Say, I hadn't thought... No, I... I want to be your bookkeeper. No, no. Why not? I've seen your checkbook. What about it? How many times have you asked me to help you out with your checking account? Uh, well, see, Nico, no. I, I need to earn more money. Not with my books. Well, that's, that's where you need help, right now. No, Cecily, I don't need any help. Off limits. Nico, I can't survive on what you're paying me. There are other things you can do. Things you are more suited to do. Such as? Such as? We'll put our heads together and think of something. Does that mean you'll help me? Yeah. Now, what are my account books? Off limits. That's right. I want a home. But while Nico was busy working on his club, Julie decided to take an internship in Washington without telling Nico. Starting when? Next week. Well, explain to me how you're going to be in Washington becoming a superstar and marrying me at the same time. Or did you forget that already? We are getting married next week. The cooks, I'm tired of you guys fighting, all right? This is a restaurant. We serve food. I don't want anything to say, all right? You just shut up. Bill, 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 Bill. Don't pay any attention to him. Everybody adores you. Who asked you? It's not your place. If I want your opinion, I'll ask for it. I think I'll just go hang these up. I'm sorry. What is wrong with you? Nothing. What do you want? I want a million dollars, but it can wait. Now tell me, what happened? I was just yelling at the waiter. I don't know. Didn't you see what I was... Nico, you happen to like Bill. He makes you laugh. You like him. Now, this is about that internship thing, isn't it? You and Julie had a fight. I gotta get out of here. No, no, talk to me. Tell me, what happened? It's over. She's going to Washington, and I'm not getting married. Finished. Julie Chandler and Nico Maurice talked briefly about his character, Nico, in the Soap Opera Digest interview from May 30th, 1989. In it, he said... Nico is a lot like I was when I was 18 years old. Referring to Kelly's quick temper and desire to live on the edge. In high school, I was always fighting, was a tough kid, because I gained respect that way. Nico's very insecure, that's the bottom line.
That's why he pardon. was so against Julie going to Washington. Washington. He feels that she'll become something and he'll just That's stay the now. same. He's very insecure, and the more I play that, the more interesting he is to watch. Send off. She's not here. So you can count me out. Wait a minute, I don't quite understand. As her husband, I'm Julie not. Want to be I'm there. not Julie's husband. What was that? We were never legally married. Never married. It's a long story, but the bottom line is the official presiding wasn't official. And even if it were legal, I wouldn't go to your stupid party. You want to know why? Because Julie and I are yesterday's news. Yesterday's yeah, news? Yeah, yeah, we split up. That's why I'm not going to your little going away party. Oh, oh, I'm very sorry to hear that. I truly, oh, that's quite a shock. That's a surprise. You're sorry like somebody who sorry. just won the As lottery. for Nico's macho image, Maurice think that's fine, wanted. as long oh, as there's I more never, underneath. I never wanted either one of you to be hurt. Come on, Palmer, you're happy she dumped the creep. Well, I wouldn't have put it quite that crudely. Well, I'm sorry, Pop, but you did get the just in just. Yes, yes, I'm quite pleased that... Well, I'm quite pleased that she's finally seen the lie. I mean, you were a disaster from word go. She should never have met you, let alone marry See, he's macho, but he's sensitive, and he's even cried once now, so there's a lot of colors. He's probably crying with Julie gone, but he doesn't let anybody see him cry. That's the great thing about it. He does it all on his own, Maurice said. Have a good life, Nico. Shocker. He and Lauren Holly hated each other off screen. God, I can't believe it. He says shocked. How could we hate each other? He even expresses sadness that Julie and Nico have broken up. It's kind of like the acting turns into the real life situation. And it is sad because you've been so close and working together for a year and a half now. The way they ended up was like crack. He explained, slapping his hands loudly for emphasis. Still, Maurice admits that the Julie Nico story had finally tested the sleep reflexes of even the most alert viewer. Nico, any woman would be lucky to marry you. I'm not kidding you, you're one in a million, and Julie knows that too. Yeah, is that why she helped me pack? No, listen to me. <laughs> I had that exact ugly sweater in 1989. I wonder if Maurice got teased for his as much as I did. <laughs> Take a moment to like and subscribe if you like this video. And now we continue. Once you're out in the street, we'll see how you feel about That's that. That's just not really gonna happen, Mrs. Davidson. Nico, I... You didn't tell your mother the good news? We're partners. Partners? Which means we are splitting the profits 50-50. Nico came to Cecily's aid, and he also needed her help. He just didn't know it yet. Oh, your gets on my nerves. Yes, she gets on my nerves too. Oh, Nico, you really do have faith in me. You really think I can't help the club, right? Sure. Partners? Says the club's going down the tubes. If you want to join me for a ride to the sewer, that's fine, but you know how that goes. <sighs> Nico tried to get the money the wrong way, and Cecily had to help him out of a bad situation. Oh, you thought you could pull a fast one, didn't you, huh? The bum didn't tell me where he was going. I've been looking for you all over. Boring, let's go. Okay? I said no, babe. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Hand it over, sweet stuff. Give me the dough. So you're early tonight. Well, that's because I want to keep my eye on you. Since when are you my keeper? Since last night. Well, everything turned out fine. Yeah, Nico, thanks to David and me. It was the only way to save this place. Nico, they stole every cent you won, and if it hadn't been for that money I would have gotten I... my cash register out of Hawk. For that, I thank you. Was it worth risking your life for, huh? Who died? Albert called me down here and there's been some trouble inside. What? 
Only those men got their revenge on Nico, and they completely destroyed his club. Nico may have been ready to give up on his dream, but Cecily had another trick up her sleeve. I have a question. Uh, well, actually, it's, it's sort of a favor to ask you. Is it about business management? Uh, it's no big thing. Go ahead, go ahead. I got all the time in the well, world. Well, this won't take much time. A simple yes or no. Will you marry me? Sure, I got nothing better to do. Nico, any, uh, uh, I'm serious. Okay, just tell me when and where. This is not a joke. This is the end to all our problems. Nico, we get married and I get my trust fund. The money starts rolling in. We open up a new club. We clean up. Don't you get it? It's the perfect solution. You are a real piece of work, Cecily. You're going to wake up and permanently be stuck in the twilight zone. All right, very funny, mister. Now, I would like you to laugh this off. And what's this, national debt? If I marry, that is the first payment on my trust fund. Nice piece of change. Yes, it's hardly a laughing matter. But it says right here that your mother, dearest, has to approve, huh? Nico, my mother has been practically crawling on bended knee, begging me to forgive her. She wouldn't dare cross me on this. And she's not going to think this is a bit sudden. She will approve. She will do anything to win me back. There's only one little catch. I'm not for sale. Nico, I'm not buying. Honey, this is for both of us. We will open up a new club that'll knock their socks off. You know what they call guys that do this? Yes, smart and savvy. Slimy, I'll marry you for your money types. That's not me. No way. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Macho Man. I marry for love, not a retirement fund. Oh, isn't this fabulous? And you owe it all to me. Nico, welcome to your new club. That's going to oh. be open to thousands. Oh. I don't have... We'll deal with all that later. Here. Sign on the dotted line. I'm not signing any lease. Will you at least look at these... Cecily things? was crafty and would not take no for an answer. You... I cannot... You are warped. You know that? Darling, A you marriage don't mean contract? That. Nico, everything's spelled out, so so there can be no misunderstanding after the wedding. Look, what wedding? I'm not getting married. That's it. Yes, you are. You marry me. Oh my gosh, it's my mother and Aunt Phoebe. Kiss me. Oh, lipstick all over me. Oh, oh, hello, Mother and Phoebe. You know, you got rocks in your head. Uh, if you want to avoid them, darling, just go out the back way. <laughs> you should get professional help, and I'm really serious. And I, I'm not giving up. I am going to marry whosever name I pick from this hat. Would you like to join the group? Same guys. Same guys, and I replace Tad, Tom, and Cliff with Chet and Hugh. Hugh. You know Hugh. He was Sean's assistant. Now he's the manager at the Valley Inn. He's mm. very susceptible to money. And then there's Joey and a couple of guys from Chet's frat house. What the hell? Why not? Okay. With my luck, I'm bound to lose. <laughs> I'm almost hoping that you do. Now, where did you get that hat? This is Mrs. Fargate's gardening hat. Oh, what you sow, you reap? Oh, that's very clever, yes. <laughs> okay. Now, you know, this is crazy. You know that, don't you? Yes, I know that. Well, who is it? Who am I going to be, Mrs...? Me. Here comes the bridegroom. ta da ta da you said you take your chances with the rest of them and you picked your name fair and square. We're getting married in the morning. <laughs> there is something screwy going on here. I know that. Oh, oh, Nico, no. Nico Kelly, Nico Kelly, Nico, Nico, Nico Kelly. Okay, okay. The wedding's off, the wedding is off. 
What are you going to do? What? What are you going to... You're going to save your pennies and, and open up a new club when, you, when you're 35? Nico, by then, you'll be so old, the music is going to hurt your ears. Y you won't be able to stay up past 10 o'clock, and you'll probably hate the new food. Let's do it now. Why should we wait when we don't have to? Okay. Okay. You'll do it? You got yourself a girl. I mean, don't you? <gasps> Next week, you and I will be Mr. and Mrs. Nico Kelly, and the following, we will be the proud owners of the hottest nightclub in Pine Valley's history. <laughs> now what? Oh, didn't I tell you? We have to make an announcement. We're having a party tonight. No. Party. Nico and I are getting married on Friday. We're, we're tying the knot. Yes, because uh, we're in love and we can't wait to be with one another. And um, <laughs> come on, guys, isn't anyone going to congratulate us? Things got interesting when Julie showed up unexpected. Friends of a friend just got engaged. Uh, Cecily, somebody, and Nico Kelly. You know, the guy that used to run that club. Nico's. Yeah, that was it. Julie. Julie, I understand that congratulations are in order. To dreams, Cecily. May they all come true. Ted, how you doing? You want a drink? It's on me. Ooh, big spender. Uh, club soda with lime, please. Sure. Michael Knight and Maurice seem to be great friends on and off set. What did I miss? Cecily and I were getting married tomorrow. Oh, no. Okay, what do you want from my life? I want you to be the best man. You want me to be your best man? Yeah, I want you to be my best man. You got a problem with that? No. No, not at all. I I, I think it's great. I'd, I'd be honored. I mean, come on. It's not every day that uh, a friend of mine marries the biggest trust fund in Pine Valley. Okay, I didn't hear you say that because if, if I did, I'm going to have to take you outside and rearrange your face. You know that, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I heard of that one. That's the tradition where you uh, beat the hell out of the best man the day before the wedding, right? To see what great friends these two are off camera, check out Maurice Bernard's State of Mind on YouTube where he's doing such great work. Here's a clip. Everybody calls me Mo. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, when I, I was growing up, that was nobody. It was Maurice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah There's yeah, no yeah. Mo. And then you called me Mo on all my children. Okay. Mike was cool. That's fine. He's I'll, I'll let him live. Yeah. Yeah. And for now, GH, it's Mo. <laughs> Everybody, the crew. Sometimes I hear it. And I'm like, well, see, because I see. I don't know that I know this about you because with me, you live to make me laugh. It's like you and I have a relationship. It's like and you've been doing it, and I just I wish I could say that one of the best things this guy ever did is we had to come in. At, I was just talking about it. Seven thirty every day, rain or shine. If you were under the age of thirty when we were still doing the block dress and tape, you always said the seven thirty. You used to do this character called Bad Actor, and Bad Actor was Bad Actor was a, a, a an actor that could not give a good line reading to save to save his life, and it was kind of this little this little actor rebellion. But it used to just hey Cecily, it, it, I think you're great. <laughs> And he hit the wrong sil you'd hit the wrong syllable every time. You know what I mean? Uh, She's gonna die. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> it's like, we gotta get there. Quick. We gotta get there. She was like, <laughs> Hurry up. But I used, to, I used to love bad actors. Mm, just as I suspected, a bachelor party in full swing. Are you kidding? We're not even swaying yet. Sweetheart, don't you think you've had enough? The shape of things to come? Take it easy, sis, huh? Ah, uh, no, darling, no. I'm not getting married tomorrow with a hungover groom and best man. Yeah, well, don't say I didn't warn you. <clears throat> okay, so 
so what you and this was my favorite part we went to oh yes okay my where i grew up man right the rattlesnake now just one more reason why you must check out maurice's channel might have been a little skunkweed is it was skunkweed involved <laughs> and what happened was i get all paranoid anyway but <laughs> this was a long time ago okay and we were walking and i and i <laughs> i remember and i hear mama mama what get out get out of the way what and i hear I almost stepped on a rattlesnake. Yeah. Oh. The way I remember it was you were walking, you were going, and there was this sound. There was buzz because we were walking through this. We were walking down this trail there, and there, there was all these reeds and stuff. And it, we were going down to this place called the Rock Garden. I used to love going down right. this place. It was at the corner of the soccer field, whatever. But it's uh, it's in the sticks. It's Ojai. You know what I mean? And you were like, and I remember you like, what's that? And I go, it's a rattlesnake. <laughs> Next thing I knew, you had crawled up on my back. He was like, you know who your friends are. You were like, you 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 found the the only thing you could crawl up on top of, which was me. Was and you scared. were crawling. You were just like, because I was, you know, I was a little high, man. Never. That, and when you're high, you get even more paranoid. You're like, yeah, I don't think you. And I don't think we ever saw it. We heard it. And I know, and I grew up out there, so I knew what a rattlesnake was. That, yeah. Then we went up to the top of the hill. Oh, the, the, yeah. The, and we were in the car listening. They don't need no. Uh, <laughs> with Pink Floyd. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, leave the things alone. <laughs> and I'm like, wow. At man, that point, is... I was having a good time messing with your head. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm convinced. And now the moment you've been waiting for. Nico union. and Cecily get married. Cecily Davidson and Nico Kelly now come to be joined. I pronounce that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Nico and Cecily. I'm sure there's never been a more interesting couple married in Pine Valley. <laughs> After all, there's never been a more gorgeous, head-in-the-clouds type of girl married to a more down-to-earth, feet-on-the-ground type of guy. I'm sure there will never be a dull moment. Uh, yeah. 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 Well Husband? Wife. Uh, well, I never said we did. It was a rocky so road so right from the honeymoon. Aren't we going out? There is a game tonight. On our wedding night? We got engaged so quick they forgot to reschedule, but at least it isn't a total loss. What kind of a friendship is this? You know, if we were back home, you would be taking me out for a celebration. If there isn't a game, call room service, get me a brew, and a cheeseburger. Wanamaker hooks in to get his son. Roseanne is on tonight. Not on this set. Twink's on second, Reynolds is coming up. Shh. It's my favorite show. Did, did, oh, boy. Did you see that? I didn't, no, did you I see didn't that? realize that this was going to be such good training for married life. I bet you they bring him hard. Oh, how very nice for him. Just fair. Who? He. Come on, come on. Hello, room service? Yes, this is Cecily Davis, uh, Cecily Kelly, in the room 1124. Could you please send up a cheeseburger, rare pickles on the side, and a beer? Two draft, please. Make that two beers, please. And I would like the, um, the carpaccio. The shrimp wrapped in bacon. Uh, angel hair pasta, the appetizer portion. A Caesar salad, a nice tea. Oh, oh, and a side order of the uh, spicy chicken wings. No, what the heck, make it a double. <laughs> yeah! For, for dessert, I would like something yes. like um, key lime pie. Okay, thank you. You keep eating like that, you're going to end up looking like Roseanne. Okay, all right, that's it, that's it! 
it. Ah! Uh, I'm sorry. I thought you were somebody else, Sis. Uh, I'm sorry. Just stay on your side. First to inherit. It turns out that the contract stated they must be married for six months before they received any money. Upon fulfillment of said term. Not to exceed six months. It wasn't all bad news, though. In the meantime, their brand new nightclub, Kelly's, had their official grand opening. That looks like you're building toward a full house here. Well, let's hope so. Congratulations, Mr. Kelly. You do nice work. Thank you, Mrs. Kelly. So am I. It's a of fun. Hello, Robin. You don't care for that lady very much, do you? Her booking, she's all right when she's not being fake. Well, celebrities are her life. No, the only reason she came is because Julie got Eric McCain here. Well, thank Kevin for Julie. Well, I saw Yeah, I thought I was in for a dull evening. Oh, Scott, how could this be a dull evening? With all these fabulous people here. So tell me, Erica, how's the cosmetics business treat? You know, Scott, I would love to talk about this. Why don't we talk about it over lunch? Okay? Because I think this evening we should just oh, revel in this sensational club. Do you know what I think? I think we are so lucky to have Kelly's in Pine Valley. Let me put it this way. Well, with Kelly's, who needs New York? Who needs New York? Who needs I'm going to tell you a little secret about Erica Kane. She can be the most aggravating, infuriating pain in the world. But she's a generous woman. Welcome to Kelly's. We built this club for you, me and my partner, uh, Seth. Partner and wife. <laughs> my new bride and old partner, Cecily Davidson Kelly. Nice. We did it together. Uh, we took some of the old and brought in some new stuff. <laughs> Kelly's, ladies and gentlemen, the hottest night spot in town. And here's a rare look at the Kelly's menu from my prop collection. You could get all kinds of pasta and chicken. Very Italian. Light lights and glittering contemporary interior complement the energetic activity on the dance floor and set off a superb cuisine. The cheerful, efficient service is excelled only by the youthful, what's that? Exuberance. Exuberance of owner. Cecily and Nico Kelly. We <laughs> are a hit. Right oh. We're straight to the side. Together. Oh, Nico. <laughs> we did it. These two were starting to fall for each other. They just didn't realize it themselves yet, but the audience knew they were so fun to watch and the freshest thing to happen to all my children in quite some time. They were my favorite super couple on All My Children. And even though these two had had a hot kiss at the grand opening, they still woke up alone. They still could not figure out that they were falling in love with each other, but they still acted married. After playing Sonny Corinthos, the serious mob boss on General Hospital for so many years, I truly think people forget how great Maurice is at comedy. <laughs> what? What the hell? Speaking of which, pig princess. Do you ever pick up after yourself, or what? Oh, excuse me, but I never had to. Well, those days are over, baby cakes. You're doing it again. What? 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 What am I doing? Oh, Ricky, I'm so sorry. I'm. Oh, Ricky, am I on the wrong side? What do you think you are, Miss Miss Polynesia? Huh? Bending over like that? You know what you're trying to do? You're trying to test me. I am not trying to test you. You're half naked. Oh, please. You are. There's something seriously wrong with you. Oh, yeah, but you're a big tease. Oh, excuse me, but you're the one with the serious problem. You've got it all in the brain. Yeah. I am not a tease. You're the tease, Mr. Ricardo. What's the matter with you? You gotta make yourself. And Mr. Ricardo was right.
because Maurice ended up starring as Ricky, I mean Desi Arnaz, in the biopic Lucy and Desi Before the Laughter in 1991. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give it a rest. Give it a rest. Give it a rest. Huh? Why should I? You were the one who started this. Do we get days off? Because I could use 24 hours of not seeing your face. Huh. Huh. I got it. Nico was having a hard time admitting that he was falling for Cecily. That's, that looks cute. Thanks. What have you got? We got a problem here, right? We're married, but we're not married. We, we're stuck with each other, but we're not in love. Will you get to the point? The point is we got to stop this slobbering and smooching all no, over No, wait a minute. No, I have never slobbered all over you, all right? Okay, whatever you want to call it. We, we knock it off. We act like real married people. Real married people. People that, that marry for love, not a business deal. They don't have to go around kissing and touching. They just, they just take that for granted. They're married. Now, it's a hell of a lot more convincing than all that other stuff. It took a lot of back and forth and back and forth. Cecily realized she was in love first. But then finally, Nico gave in. You, on the other hand, you're foaming at the mouth. I said shut up. Shut up? Go ahead. Make me shut up. That's a good idea. <laughs> New perfume? No. Same old stuff. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Can, can you imagine having to do this every night? Impossible. Yeah, well, this, this one time should be no big deal. Right? No big deal. Mm. So, uh, what are you wearing? I mean, your uh, thing. It's a nightgown. It's, it's, it's nice, comfortable, huh? Yes, it is. What? What do you keep staring at? Nothing, nothing. It's, it's just, uh, well, you have a, a freckle there, uh, on, on your, yeah, right there, on your arm, you have a, a freckle. It's a big freckle. Mm-hmm. Yes. I gotta go to the... No, 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 Nico, you can't. No, I no, gotta, I'm gonna go. No, no, you just, can't, Nico, no, not to show, please, Nico, please, 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 please. Don't. stop? If you don't stop, I'm gonna kiss you. And once I start... I can't. I can't do well, this, Nico. No, I can't. This is not a game. It isn't. I don't, I'm not playing a game, Cecily. Not anymore, no. I want you. Nico, you want, but you don't want me. No, no. All those things I said about not being attracted to you, it never lies. I, I want you more than anything in the world. And you want me too. Don't lie. Come on, admit it. It's easy. Nico, I... I... Say it. Say it. I want you. I... T Where are you going? I'm going home. Now? You want to? I guess it was worth it after everything we've been through. So Nico proposed again, and the two immediately eloped to Hawaii. But that wasn't nearly the end of their story, because a volcano decided to erupt while they were getting married. Our local volcano. There's no need to panic. The ocean! 
ocean. The ocean's where it's best. Who says they did? What? Nico, there's hot red lava coming at us. No, we would have heard an alarm if there was any danger. Maybe they didn't have time. No, no please. We must remain calm. Yeah, listen to him. He knows what he's saying. Boa is unpredictable. It could be serious. It could be nothing. Uh. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here together in the sight of God and in the face of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Okay. Nico, will you have this woman to be your wife? To live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, keep only unto her so long as you both shall live. I do. Cecily, will you have this man to be your husband? To live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, keep only unto him so long as you both shall live. I do. Who gives this man and woman to be married? We do. <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. This time for real. You may kiss the bride. How you doing, wife? Ah, okay, we're gonna keep your mouth open. Ah, ole pala na. Kind of late, right? Well, now it's traditional for the bride and groom to leave. Already? Yep. Well, luau's are nice, but it's nicer to have newly married love. Thank you all very much for making this And even though Nico and Cecily were very popular, the, anybody can have. the two I mean, decided to leave the show thank you. right after this. <laughs> Happiness and blessings to you both. Thank you. They decided to have them leave together which was a good decision in my opinion. And they had them leave in a unique way. Cecily entered the USA Homemakers Contest. And she won. You are gonna fix your hair right. I mean that thing there, you want me to get it? No, I, I can handle it. Take a second it, it look up, at Cecily's like rival this. here. It's no. Dr. Uh, Obrecht Nico, from hi. General Hospital. Hey, hi, have you met, uh, Kathy? How you doing? Why, Guess why, what? Why? One of the, I overheard one of the judges talking out there, and he says that, uh, you're a real knockout. Yeah? Yeah. He says he's tired of blondes winning everything, and it's about time a, a brunette won. <laughs> Excuse me. You're excused. And welcome to the 15th Annual State Pageant for the Mrs. USA Homemaker Contest. Congratulations to Cecily. But after she won, Cecily and Nico had to take a tour around the USA for the next year for the Homemakers Contest. Unfortunately for all my children fans. But General Hospital fans got Sunny Corinthos a few years later. Cecily returned to all my children in 1994. All right, so now, are you fair on this? Yeah, that, that part of the tour should take us to April, we'll come back right. to the States, start all over. And I guess... meanwhile, we're going to have photo sessions all over the world, hyping you and Cecily, and enchantment, all the while, while you are Mrs. USA Homemaker. Oh, it's going to be great. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, I'm going to call my father then and fill him in on all the details. Oh, his idea, you know? Yeah, he's a very smart man. Oh, it runs in the family. Oh, well, I see. Well, listen, <laughs> you can use the phone in our office. Great. Our office. Wait, I'll go with you. Okay. I'll get you a beer, buddy. Yeah, if you have one with me. Oscar, two beers, please. Been through a lot of good times here, huh? Yeah. And some not so good. Yeah. That's what you're thinking about, huh? The memories? Yeah. yeah. But it's gonna be okay. Because we're gonna be starting a brand new life. You bet. Nah. 
you happy? Yes. Now I am happy. My wow. little little Rasputin. Yeah. Well, Tad and Dixie are gonna be happy too. Just like we were on our honeymoon. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that, sweetheart? Huh? Beautiful Hawaii. Yeah, we saw her from our hotel room. Yeah, well, who needed to go outside? <laughs> <laughs> and see, now Tad and Dixie will be able to get to um, <clears throat> what's really important. And what is that? <laughs>